Hey, it's Corey the Treasure Hunter. Got a cool episode coming up for you. Curb Strip Magic Part 2. Uh, had a lot of cool little finds I got in there, so I can't wait to share that with you. Also, next episode coming up that's metal detecting will be my best silver coin day ever, so I definitely want you to see that. That'll be coming up uh, in a little bit, but uh, wanted to give you the heads up, so please enjoy this episode. Well, welcome to Curb Strip Part 2. I am uh, going to do that curb strip right there, but I wanted to check these little guys over here. And then there's a park over there too, so, um, and there's a bunch of homeless people that moved out, so could strike gold in there. So yeah, I'm going to do these little guys, see what we find. Okay, there was absolutely nothing in those two little things, so I'm going to do this one, and then on the other side of that, uh, semi-new beamer. First target, couldn't tell what it was at first, but that looks like a mouthpiece, and we got like a vape here vape system yep here's our best target so far it's kind of all over the place could be a bottle cap it's a big target could be a quarter too Looks like, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a little stopper for a window or something. Or a door, like a little sliding glass door stopper. I haven't seen those in a while. Something just big just popped out. I got a quarter and a bunch of trash. But there just kept being a signal in there. I have no idea what this is. It's huge though. I'm always looking for a large scent, but says something. I think I got an old foreign coin. I think I might, I don't think it's silver, but could this be, could, it be, could this be my first old penny? Oh, it's looking like a kangaroo. You guys get the reveal with me. Okay, it's 19.50, one penny. Good day, Australia. Nice, that's awesome. Huge coin. <laughs> I was hoping it was a a, a largey, but it's just a largey from Australia. Uh, bloody ripper. All right, let's go. That was awesome. Well, that was a good little coin to find. I've never found one that old, I don't think. Or that big of an Australian coin. They're usually small, the newer ones, so. That sounds promising. Can't really touch any of the ground here. It's got glass and all kinds of pet waste. <laughs> Probably human waste. Must have dropped it. Oh, it's a copper penny. So it looks like I'm getting onto the coins now. Got a 13 right here, so I'm hoping for a nickel. My last curb strips, I didn't find any nickels at all, but I found a nickel walking up here, so I thought that would be a good sign. And we have a nickel. 1964. Stuck up a solid 16. Man, look at this thing popping out. Kind of looks like a nine millimeter. Yep. It's good little find. I'm finding those near the parks now. I haven't been hunting around parks, so let's keep going. 
Might have just popped a ring. I'm not sure. I thought it was a dime, so. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Oh, sorry, I probably didn't have that in view there. I think that's going to be like gold plated silver. Nice. Been hitting the rings and the curb strips. And you know what? Here's the real thing is I, I dug up the I dug up the Australian coin right there. I went over here and I'm like, I gotta double back like I did in part one. And boom, I hit this ring that I missed. Yeah. a very large uh, a very loud signal very high tone right next to a fire hydrant so not too hopeful I think I'm feeling concrete down there Let's see what we get let's try over here a little more it's probably gonna be a car or bike part or something Uh, it's just some folded up piece of metal making an awesome signal so this is a 23 which is normally trash but it sounded a little scratchy Ooh. which usually means something someone's keys thought that was going to be an awesome keychain but still cool take it i can't stress how important it is to uh, go back i mean it's only like 20 30 feet so i mean you know just think about that and even maybe even having a sniper coil on places like this so. let's find another set of keys whatever this is just start walking around, I see a jewel right here. Look at this thing. Looks like it's gonna be a button or something. Yeah, a button. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm now at the park. It's a little shady over here. It's got hot quick. But uh, a bunch of people used to live right in this area. So I'm just gonna cover it, see if uh dropped any valuables and maybe grab some change. So uh curb strips are awesome part two was awesome i, I, uh, I had a great time i didn't find you know super old coins or anything but uh, i found some interesting stuff and that's what it's all about and i had fun let's go on with this one yeah looks like we might have our first uh, token oh yeah daily city party playhouse daily city party playhouse Haven't seen this one before. It's got a phone number. <laughs> Wonder if this place is still open. It's a cool one. For the food chain well uh it's like a little cheeseburger well i think that was a really fun hunt for uh curb strip part two i had a great time uh you know i don't care that this wasn't a large scent i still uh still take it got another uh, large foreign coin token nine millimeter yeah so i really like this ring it's a great find uh, curb strips have been nice to me. Got this little lock here. Found this little gem. Um, got a bunch of change. Not as much as I'd like, but still got a couple bucks for sure. Got a couple keys. Got 
got a little silver gold chunk maybe. Just a little charm. Pretty cool. Got a foreign coin. Got a token. And of course you got a ring. So I'll put that in there real quick. Put this one right here. So that's what we got so far in like five, six, seven months, something like that. And also, uh, for uh, also got uh, two state park quarters for my little book here. Paula Jellison sent those to me. Thank you so much. Those are going in there. Now time for the weigh-in. Here, our weigh-in is we're looking to be above uh, fifty pounds. Looks like we're at 42 pounds, so still got a little ways to go, but I'm confident that we will get more weight than we did last year. I think we ended at 62 pounds, so still got quite a few months to go. Also looking to break the uh, four digit mark and get above $1,000, so that's this week's weigh-in. Looking good, 42 pounds, or we have 19.13 kilos. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Can't wait to show you what I got going on next episode, which is the uh, best silver coin day I've ever had. I found uh, more than one. Let's just put it that way. So don't want to spoil it. See you soon. Yeah.